enjoy the film. You want butter on your popcorn? The theater will be ready in a second. Henry! That's me. Congratulations on being promoted to manager of the theater. We finally have a manager. Oh my god! And it's Henry. Unexpected. It's Henry! I didn't want it, but here we are. Well, you're taking it, buddy. I know. That's what I've been told. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Linda heard how well you did at running your confectionery uh, shop. You're welcome. Oh, you told her about this? Yeah. I said, you'll never guess what Henry was doing. And did you call it a confectionery shop? Yeah. And not he was taking supplies from the theater and selling them yeah, for no. a profit? No, of course I didn't say that. Because he wouldn't have said that. That's true. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, but no, that's, uh, very unexpected. Yeah. Um, Linda, I, I, Linda I approached s- me. I said uh, that Kyle and I both said that though. Don't bring me into it. Go on, Henry. She would just ask for my qualifications and I said, I, I, I don't know for what. And then she was like, all right, you're, you're, hired. you're hired. And I was like, okay. I already well, work here, right. but, um, thanks. And, that's uh, fantastic. then she, yeah, she handed me a, 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 a check with, uh, my yearly salary on it. Boom. Oh, this is now a, a salaried position? It's a salaried position. Oh, my goodness. And wow. uh, I get it all up front. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nice. Well, how much are you getting? If you don't mind me asking, it's not polite to talk finance. We'll, well get to you in a second, Kyle. Well, it is, I, you know, most of it's going to paying off your credit card that I have, which is, uh, there is some serious debt you racked up. Henry, That's that a real so nice, nice move, though, for you to pay off his debt. Well, so I mean, it's my credit you. card, really. So. Yeah, but it's, it's, I got I just got to. Well, yes, I, I. I'm just trying to increase the limit. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Think of all the stuff I'll be able to buy. Well, you'll be buying it from me. Think of all the stuff I will get. Well, I mean, I'm teaching you business. That's that's the right. The, You're yeah, teaching me you guys, business. That's the I'm deal. paying you to teach me business. You, I got 900 from your card. For the application fee, and we've we've and already made that, some strides. Well, that application's in review, and uh, we'll. Uh, oh. <laughs> what strides do you we've think you've made? We've already made some Greg? strides. Well, I was about to ask what strides have we made because I don't remember. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're learning the process of just. You of course, know, I how am. To, uh, I I totally am. Get new clientele. What am, I, what am I learning? Right, of course, getting new clientele. I am and doing what with them? What, and we're also going over how to open up. A bank account? Yeah. Oh, I'm to open up a bank account doing. in your name. That's in, right. Henry has. Well, yep. We used his name. Uh, um, we used my name and his money. And uh, yeah, we got, we got you a bank account opened up. And, yeah. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's well. Yeah. I, 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 I was so happy when I got my own personal checks. And, and it was so cathartic to read Mr. Henry Harrison. It's it like felt finally so good. Yeah. something of your own. Yeah, something of mine. Why did they send them to you? Yeah, did you use your address and that's the billing address. Well, yeah, we opened up the name under your. Well, I mean, they were delivered to your house. I'm sorry. Oh. They were delivered to your house because we signed it under your name. Did that's you the steal only Henry's way. mail? No, it's my mail. We opened it in his name. I'm lost. But all I'm getting is right. that well, Henry. It's okay, we're gonna go over the check thing later. Well, okay, that's cool. part of the yes, lesson. Yes, but you've also been been showing me through example how to manage well. You've already made a lot of uh, a lot of changes around here. Well, a lot of changes. You've made some changes mm-hmm. around here. Well, some changes. You changed something. Yeah. And that was. Oh, yeah, you gotta say what it was. Well, now now we uh, have topiary in the in the orchard. Exactly. <laughs> You put topiary in the orchard. The orchard out, outside. It's a topiary orchard. It doesn't really affect the day-to-day operations, but no, it's, I wouldn't no. say it sure is nice for this month that we get it. It really is. That one, little str- <laughs> that one little stretch of time, it will look so gorgeous next to pears, apples, cherries, strawberries. Oh, well, we Again, don't have time to go into ch- all of them. But let's no, uh, most, uh, most of my time, I haven't really been able to manage a whole lot. It's mostly just been uh, managing my money now, mm-hmm. which is a full-time job. Yeah. And ma- just making sure my checks don't get stolen out of my mail, I guess. I think that's... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Good, I need yeah. a lost mailbox. I'll keep mailbox. an eye out for that. I'll keep an eye out for that. All don't right. worry. Well, yeah, in the I'll meantime, um, I could hold on to your checks just so because I'm going to be writing them to me anyway, Thank you. right? Well, that so. makes a good. You know that that's just cutting out the middleman right there. Yeah. That makes that makes good sense. All right. Thank you very much, Henry. You, I appreciate course. it. No everything, problem. Everything, no everything. problem. Everything. Yeah, and Kyle. Yeah, that hat is very uh, 
fetching. Thanks. I thought I should get a hat for uh, while the weather is good mm-hmm. for this month or so. You know what would look great on that hat? I'm not going to bedazzle my hat. You mother bitch. Peanut butter. Can anyone follow what's <laughs> happening on this podcast? This way, it's it just you talking a string of references. <laughs> That unless someone's heard every episode... And management switches so often in a theater and... Uh, it's hard to keep yeah, track. Characters come and go. And, and uh, the orchard outside is only... <clears throat> Sometimes you just stop talking in the middle of sentences. <laughs> My goodness, what a quirky bunch. Huh? What a quirky bunch. Yeah, this bunch. podcast isn't something you can just put on in the background. and You really have to actively pay attention. Or you're going to be Otherwise lost. Otherwise you will be you lost 90% of the time. Yeah. Should we try to be coherent? <laughs> For, let's try something new. Let's, let's try be coherent new. today. Let's make sense. Let's get the podcast underway. Hey! hey. Uh, Have welcome. you been recording this entire time? Yes. I thought we were having a nice little fun conversation. We, we were. It's just into microphones. Is that what these are for? My name is Kyle. My name is Greg. I'm Henry Manager Harrison. And Henry this week, Manager Harrison. We watched a film. Yes. We did. And we're gonna talk about it. Yes. We are. This one was it was really interesting. Well, I always say that about every single I find so many things interesting. Yeah, that word really has no meaning. When it comes it from really you. doesn't. It's a really interesting word. Uh, uh, what the the movie that we watched this week was a movie called Clarence's Furniture, right? And this movie is 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 well, I'm going to use the word again. It's fascinating. Well, it's <laughs> it's a synonym. But... It's 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 something because it centers around this furniture store. Mm-hmm. Wherein the mob has been siphoning dirty money. It's a front. It's a front. So this movie starts off. <laughs> it's it's a really interesting story between 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 the contrasting between the mob. Is it and is Clarence. it interesting? It's really interesting. It's fascinating. It's interesting. It's interesting the comp the uh, character. Uh, 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 relationship between the mob boss Mm -hmm. and clarence the owner of this furniture store clarence has no idea that he is laundering he has no idea like bloody money for the mob for the mob he just knows that he has a bunch of employees that all just have really (laughs) thick italian accents thick as hell two c's thick with two c's thick with two c's these workers are buxom they are <laughs> bodacious. bodacious they look great they yeah. really do uh um well not to not to shame any of their faces but from the neck down <laughs> <laughs> so um the first scene we get is we get clarence walking into his business his furniture store mm-hmm. and um all of his employees are they're doing their kettleball thrusts and squats and, <laughs> mm-hmm. and whatnot. keeping it tight keeping, keeping it tight it and, um, and they're they're going around slapping each other on the eyes like, "Hey, looking good there, Johnny!" Slap. <laughs> and uh, so Clarence is just walking through. This is everyday business for him. Like this is just yeah. Normal. He's 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 kind of he's kind of like like looking away, be, be, being like like that's sexual harassment. I can't see you guys. Well, he's doing kinda, that. He's just kind of whistling a tune. He's 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 gotten used to. Yeah, what goes on there? He's yeah. he's like he's like these these gentlemen. They have their own boys. Will they be boys. They, yeah. they understand what they're doing. And I guess the thick uh, was it Jersey accents, not yeah, so something. much an Italian, know, yeah. but well, Italian Jersey. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're they're this is this is how they they act around each other. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They go back and forth between Italian. I mean, what else Jersey. are you gonna do? Are you not gonna slap that ass? It is tight, tight. <laughs> so back to the first scene. <laughs> He walks into the furniture store. Mm-hmm. He 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 lets it go that they're slapping everybody's yeah, little grab ass, a little, little grab ass, and and he, and he walks back to the to the uh, to the back office where the mm-hmm. uh, where the mob boss is there. His cousin Gerald Gerald is back there, mm-hmm. and and and, he, and he, he, Clarence opens the door and he's he's like, he's he's like chomping on a big cigar. Mm-hmm. Uh, Clarence, I'm glad you're 
He's biting off part of three pieces of a cigar and eating it. Clarence, it's I'm not lit. It's just he's, he's just eating, eating a cigar. It. He's just eating a cigar. Like it's a carrot stick. <laughs> this guy is tough. And this guy is tough. And he is buxom. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'm really happy that, that he turned around. Because <laughs> from the back, woof. <laughs> Would have been hard to pay attention to what he was saying. Bing bong! So he turns around and immediately you're like, oh my god. <laughs> that man is Look eating at this a cigar. piece of meat. Oh, he is eating a cigar. He is eating a cigar. Oh my <laughs> god. Yikes. And he comes around. Clarence, I'm happy you showed up. Uh, we, dis- we, we thought it best to open a little early. You see, we've had to uh, move some product. And Clarence is there. He's like, Gerald, it's good to see you too, buddy. Um, yeah, you sold you sold a couple couches or uh, maybe a, a recliner. A, a, a nice end here. table. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps an end a, table. Perhaps a dresser of some sort. Uh, maybe a simple ottoman footstool. Uh, uh, maybe a nice side table. We have plenty of stools. We've been trying to push those lately. Uh, and Gerald's like... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something along them lines. You and can see it all in the ledger. And he lets out a big cloud of smoke, which I don't know where that we came from. We don't know from, where it came but... from. <laughs> yeah, he finishes his cigar, licks his fingers, and then breathes out a poof of smoke. <laughs> he finishes his cigar, eats a match. <laughs> this guy is tough. This He's guy tough. is tough and gorgeous. <laughs> So he's, yeah, he, he flips the book around on the desk. And he's, and like, he's you like, you can see from this, you can see. We wrote it all down right I cooked here. the, I mean, I documented <laughs> it in the books. You cooked the, uh, uh, okay. Sorry, well, it looks I like cooked everything... dinner last night. Of course. For Martha. But, oh, uh, that's so nice, Gerald. How is Martha? She's the books. I mean, she's good. <laughs> look, at look at the, the look. book. So, so, uh, so Clarence, he, he looks through it and he's like, well, okay, everything seems all right. Uh, huh. You certainly do sell a lot of <clears throat> armoires. I didn't even think we had this many. You just wrote armoire once and then did the little dashes beneath it <laughs> beneath on the list to show one. that it's that's, the same uh, thing on every line. I'm really happy that I haven't met any of these people who are buying the armoires. I'm really happy that you're finding yeah. uh, thirty six thousand dollars in one morning is pretty impressive. That's, I have that's to amazing. say, amazing. I'm surprised. This must have been a late shipment. Uh, uh, your boys were here all night, uh, grabbing ass and, and <laughs> lifting kettlebells. <laughs> so and apparently guess, selling armoires. I guess they're they're that's great. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Gerald, for that. I appreciate it. So we go from there. Uh, uh, um, we go from there. Clarence goes out to the um, to the floor, mm-hmm. and he's milling about. He's going around. He's asking people if they need help with anything, and and um, he's looking away from from all the boys who are just doing boy things, <laughs> and they look great. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't we wanna, don't need to dwell I don't on, harp on yeah. this. I don't want to harp on this. It shouldn't be the only thing we talk about. We kept hooting while we were watching the film <laughs> uh-huh. and clapping. Yeah. <laughs> and, and 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 doing the doing the whole wind up thing the <laughs> fist bump yeah. yeah um my eyes i i felt my eyes come out of my skull a couple times oh, honestly ooga. uh-huh <laughs> yow i barked <laughs> anyway so yeah clarence <laughs> clarence comes back out through his store and he he's hears like... the bells from the front door mm-hmm. and 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 he's he's like well i'm 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 a fan of what i do so i'll go and and <laughs> and, and and greet them at the front door. And he gets to the front door, and there's this this group of of gentlemen mm-hmm. who come in, and they've all got guns. And, yeah, and they're like, "Hey, we're looking for Gerald." And he's like, "Oh, did are you did you purchase some a, furniture? A that you're looking to pick up? Did you buy an armoire last night? Something like that." Yeah. Uh, we have to say the product we got was subpar. I was like, oh, I am. So I apologize. Sorry. Well, we we do have a, a return policy here. I mean, we you... don't manufacture it; we just sell it. Exactly. We we yeah. We, we're not we'll to be... say I'm like not taking responsibility for this. We'll definitely take care of you. <laughs> we, it, please, if you return it within the next thirty days, they're already purchase. they've already walked past him. Yeah, they're, they're the going back. to the back. And and Clarence is still talking. He's he's still, he's still like I assure you. He's yelling at him. Yeah. I assure you that uh, that our return policy is very. very the door shuts. We'll do our absolute okay. best for this to never happen. 
And then, uh, and then, then the door closes. He he, he kind of goes over to uh, uh, to one of the employees, uh, Tony, and he starts talking to him, just kind of having the uh, just like a manager employee conversation exactly, about exactly. furniture. But then he he gets distracted from this because he starts to hear yeah a commotion in the back yeah, office, yelling, some and shouting, crashing, crashing, and then a suddenly gunshots. a series of gunshots, <laughs> and then silence. He's like, I should probably find out what's yeah, going on Yeah, I'm going to go there. take a look in the back. Uh, keep up the good work, buddy. <laughs> keep up the good work, Tony. And Tony says, my eyes are up here. <laughs> and Clarence, I am, I am so sorry. I was not looking. I was not looking. That you're was just, just the you're direction just my head was going. You're just tall and muscular in my eyes. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, anyway. I'm, really, I'm really sorry if, if it seemed like, ah, uh, He's I'll be back. saying this as he's backing as he's away. he's backing away. And so he, he opens the door to the back office, and uh, there's Gerald. He's got his feet up on the desk. Mm-hmm. Munching another cigar. Yeah, he pulls one out of a bag of cigars. That he has. A bunch of dead bodies. Yeah, he one's like slumped onto the desk, and he uses his foot and pushes him off to him the off. floor. And 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 he's and he's wiping a gun down with with his with his uh, <laughs> handkerchief. handkerchief. Yeah. yeah, he pulls it out. He starts wiping it down. And he's, Clarence is like, "Hey, I thought we talked about um, having a gun at work." And and, uh, <laughs> and Gerald's like. Yeah, yeah, we we did, didn't we? And but I, uh, I, I, I didn't think we was, had settled on something. This was his that guy's you know? gun. Yeah. The, the, he points to one of the bodies. Only this yeah, guy's he brought gun. it in. He brought it in. Yeah, and, and he's like, oh, oh, well. Did he not like our return policy? Why is he, they, dead? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ah, the guy is crazy. He shot all these guys. And fell on he, his own gun. And th- th- this is this is something really interesting in this movie. I, th- I was wondering. How many times has this happened? Because Gerald seemed pretty cavalier. Is that the word I'm looking for? He, he did not seem to be worried about being found out. I think Clarence is, is a pretty gullible fella. Yeah. The, the way that he was speaking, it made it sound like this has happened before. I can talk, th- I can talk this through with mm. crazy Clarence. And um, that's they, he's like, well, what do, how do we... What do we do now? I'm. Should I call the police? And uh, and and Gerald's like, no, 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 no we don't want to bother the police with this. They they're out there solving real crimes. Yeah, they're I got right. a shipment of coffins coming in later tonight. <laughs> coffins here? We don't sell. Do we sell coffins now? These uh, these guys on the floor here, they all ordered a coffin before they. Uh, wow. Unfortunately, passed. Wow, that's uh. Fortuitous, uh, serendipitous, maybe. Uh, um, as you were, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Gerald. Very good. All right. Well, I guess that just kind of solved itself then. Um, so, so he he, go, he goes back out to the floor, and and he he's kind of walking around. He's he's kind of talking to a little group of employees, and, he, and he's like he's like, okay, so what what we're, we want to be we want to switch the uh, lawn chairs with the kitchen furniture. So if if a group of you wouldn't mind just switching those two around mm-hmm. and that they're not really listening. They kind of just wander off. He's like, all right, break. <clears throat> As the front doors open again. Mm-hmm. He's like, awesome, customers. So he kind of goes up to the front and he's like, hey, welcome into Clarence's Furniture. We, oh, problem officer? As there's a group of police officers mm-hmm. there. And all of these police officers have their guns drawn. And they are, there's a little barricade outside. Mm. And Clarence is like, um, do we need a couch or something? What are we looking for today, gentlemen? Nah, we have a great sale on sectionals today. <laughs> and, and the police officers are like, are you the owner of this establishment? And, and, and th- this is where it gets kind of tense. Like the music, the music kind of, kind of uh, gets a bit more, a bit more intense. <laughs> no, no, no. You the owner of this establishment? He's like, yes, I'm, I'm Clarence. What can I? What can I do for you? We're here for... Does Gerald work here? <laughs> does... Yes, Gerald works here. Yes. And he's like, we're going to need to speak with him. And and from the back, you hear you hear Gerald yelling. And I uh, don't work here. <laughs> and, and, and Clarence is like, oh, I'm sorry. I guess Gerald quit or something. I'm terribly <laughs> sorry. This is, this is very uh, it's uh, been un, a, un, untimely. It's been a busy morning. I yeah. got to tell you. Bunch of people came in. They did not like our return policy, and apparently they all ordered coffins. They're all dead too. 
<laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but at this point in the film, I was like, "What is the what is What's what is going the thrust of this film? Yeah. What is the arc? What is this person's objective? What is the writer trying to do here? It feels like it's just treading water. It's just treading water. It seems like it's trying. It is it trying to go somewhere? Is it like trying to be a farce? Is it a is, comedy? What what, what genre is, is this movie? Here? Yes. What is happening? What does every single line? lead to are we in the first (laughs) act are we in the third act have we finished the film yet (laughs) cut to black something (laughs) (laughs) so right as all these thoughts yeah hit me uh cut to black and the credits gunshot (laughs) question mark who fired the gunshot gunshot? there were so many guns in that scene was it gerald did Did the police officer the last piece of dialogue was nah don't work here (laughs) And then that was it. The credits didn't really roll. They kind of just came on screen, then went away. <laughs> All in complete silence, came on screen, went away. This was like a 23-minute a long film. Yeah, geez. This, I, yeah, it was a short film. It was. It felt like a pilot to a TV show. That's what it was. Was it setting this was up a pilot to a TV show? It's going to be like the wacky adventures of and... furniture. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's it, it was a TV show that was on a while ago. It's it wasn't called Clarence's Furniture though. The the movie's called Clarence's Furniture. Oh. But this short film was acting as a pilot for a TV show that was on a while ago. Wait, this got picked up for a TV show? Yeah. It lasted like 5 episodes. I'm just now remembering this. <laughs> It, it, it and and the only thing that is the same though is that there was a character named Clarence who had a furniture store in this TV show. It was just a it was just a sitcom. The mob aspect wasn't a part of it. It wasn't or? even a part of it. So okay, just let me to clarify what was just explained. So this was a short film mm-hmm. that we watched that served as the pilot for a show mm-hmm. that was later made. But has already ended. Mm-hmm. And it's called City Life's The Life For Me. It was a sitcom about a family who lived in a penthouse in this city. And they had a furniture store. Because, the cause, uh, cause, like, the mother character, she was an interior designer or something. So she was always getting furniture. And one of... I, I remember a character of Clarence who ran a furniture store. That's the only connection I have. It's, it's less of a... S- situational comedy and more of just a, a situation yeah there's no comedy that's why it lasted five episodes <laughs> i'm surprised it made it that far yeah geez I, I feel like i'm the only one who's who's seen this show i have never heard of this show. oh my goodness it is city so life bad is the life for me city yeah. life is the life it's for also me. a really clunky title it and really I think is another reason would be Plus, much better it was it was Which aired not out a of great order. title yeah it was aired out of order uh, uh, not on like it, it, the time it was aired w- changed. It was like on it at it was like nine an on Monday. It, it switched like, networks it multiple times five, in the yeah. five episodes. Every yeah, episode God. it switched networks. It was it it was a nightmare, and it is so bad. But I love it. It's wonderful. The kids. Yeah, we're not. We didn't see that. The pa- the father whenever he comes home from work, he says, "Make room for daddy." And I don't know what that. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> To mean but like, that's his catchphrase yeah there's a nanny who's a, just a drunk we should talk about the show yeah, we should just, yeah we should review every episode of uh the city, of the city life, life the si- city, city life, city is, the life, life is the life for me my goodness Let's spend five of our episodes talking about five episodes of this tv series wow. is, uh let's not do else. that but Clarence's we can make it a swim trip. round <laughs> Free swim. Yeah, maybe we'll maybe the swim. Maybe we'll watch all the episodes this coming week and then review. That sounds one like a horrible use of time. It does. It does. You know what's a uh, worse use of time? What? Listing off everything you can do other than listen to this podcast. <laughs> That's something we could do instead of this podcast. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, Clarence's furniture. I will give this movie <clears throat> a four. Uh I might give it a five. Uh, Clarence was played by Michael Douglas. Yeah. And he did a good job. He did fine with the material. He had no character or arc. <laughs> Absolutely none. Or objective. Mm-mm. Or really he any personality. <laughs> yeah. All he did was walk back and forth through the store, having conversations with Gerald Trying and then whoever's coming in. Trying not to check out the in. attractive yeah. male workers there. 
is that an aspect in the TV show at all? The... No, 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 no. There is an episode wherein uh, um, some men walk around in yoga pants, but it's all played off as a joke because this was the 90s and it was hilarious to be gay, apparently. <laughs> This this feels like a show that someone had a vision for. It wasn't a good vision. No. But they had a vision for it, and then it got completely rewritten and changed, yeah. and yeah. then was just as bad a or worse. A horrible situation, no comedy. A situational tragedy. <laughs> a sit trage. Time. G- giving it time, it's kind of funny. Maybe, yeah, maybe it works now. I mean, the, the yeah, the, the way that they treated... Uh, some of those characters are yeah that means Eek, that would not fly certainly not that would not fly anyway what would you rate clarence's furniture oh one one out of ten. One. that makes sense uh, there is no bad. yeah there's no reason to give this there's anything no other than an eight out of ten an eight out of ten eight out of ten an eight out of ten i don't see any other reason to give it anything other than an eight out of ten in agreement with kyle I gave it a 1 out of 10. Solidarity, brother. 8 out of 10. All right. All right yeah. Well, if you would uh if you would like to send us a film or a television show pilot or a short film for us to watch or a commercial, we've done that before. We've we have done, done that before. <laughs> uh feel free to reach out yeah. on Twitter at Cineplex Podcast or you can reach us via email at cineplexpodcast at gmail dot com. Do uh, it, please. We love it. Thanks so much for listening, Henry. Congratulations again. Thank you, Henry, Henry Manager, Manager Harrison. Harry. Unexpected. I'm just glad my middle name fits. You know, it works. <laughs> that's true. That's <laughs> that's, that's really fortuitous. that's really good. Yeah, yeah, it fits right in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, thanks is that again also serendipity? For... That was on my word of the day calendar today. Oh. You have a word of the day calendar? I do. What was yesterday's word? Opine. Neat. Ask me to use it in a sentence? Hey, Greg, could you use opine in a sentence? Nah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, thanks for listening. (laughs) Goodbye. Bye. Bye.